Hello again, this is Bernie, uh, Supernova on our forum. Now, the last video I did, I showed you about the gears and uh, the gear slip, but I thought this time I'll show you a, a more open view of the gearbox itself. Now, <clears throat> the main shaft, which comes down through here, is on this small gear here. You can see it going up and down there. Um, there's no bearings in it, it just sits into a little hole in the bottom of the um, circuit board. Now the two gears that are fitted to it, one drives the top one, uh, which is the bottom one here, that drives the top one, this one drives the bottom one, and um, as you can see, if I turn them individually, I don't know if you can actually see that until I look at the video, but uh, that's the rear motor driving the top one, which is this rear motor here, and the other motor drives the bottom one. You can see them all turning there. Now, this little gear here is actually fixed fixed onto the motor. You see the motor there, and there's the gear there, and the same at the front here. A little tiny gear. That's actually fixed to the, the shaft, it's just pushed on. This one here, which takes it from the shaft, is like riveted into the chassis. Um, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick this up, but there's a little, like a little rivet there with two gears. Big one here to break it down uh, to the gears to that one, and virtually the same thing here. And that one's riveted in as well. It's like a, it's really like a little nail uh, with a flathead top on it. It's pushed in there, and that holds the gear so it spins freely. Um, but if you get the the spline, which is if you uh, can see it there, right on the end of my screwdriver, there's a little tiny spline cut into the metal on the shaft. Well, when the gear slips, it's this bit here which is slipping on the shaft itself. The other end of the main shaft, and that's what I was trying to do is to show you how to push it against the chassis, which I've removed. Uh, that's this bit here, and um, you can force the gear up a little bit against the, the the chassis, which would still be on the helicopter itself when it's assembled. Now I think this one's a fake. I'm not sure. That's why it's got a green green board, not a red one. But it doesn't matter, it's exactly the same gearbox and all the parts are the same. But I just thought I'd show you a, a close look at the inside. Uh, just so you've got a better idea of how they move uh, in relation to the to the rotors. Um, that one's turning the rear motor as I said earlier. And that one's a front motor there. And uh, the inside shaft, the main shaft here, runs inside the shaft that drives the lower rotors and uh, that just gives you a better idea of how it works inside and um, that was really the main idea if you do ever take it apart make sure that that shaft goes into the into the circuit board itself there but there's no actual bearing in that bit okay thanks for watching